Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example from circle theorems. Now this question has three sub questions as well as we can see over here. So let us start with the first one. Points A, B, C, D lie on a circle with center O. C, O, D, T is a straight line. A, T is a tangent to the circle at point A and angle D, A, T is given as x degree. So the first sub question is complete the statement angle CAD is equal to 90 degree because so here they have already given the value of angle CAD which is this angle and we have to give the reason why angle CAD is 90 so let us understand the circle theorem for this case which is angles in a semicircle so it states that the angle in a semicircle is always 90 degrees as you can see I have drawn a circle over here and PQ is a diameter because it is passing through the center of the circle and if I draw an angle using the points of the diameter, it could be anywhere but in a semicircle, then it is always going to be 90 degree. So you can draw n number of angles in the semicircle, even this way. So even this angle is going to be 90 degree. So let us see how we can use this circle theorem to answer the first question. Now since we had to write the reason to say that angle CAD is 90 degree, now here we can see that COD is forming a diameter because the line CD passes through the center of the circle and using these two points we have drawn an angle at point A. Let me highlight it. And the angle formed is in the semicircle. So we are going to write here this is because it is the angle formed in the semicircle. Now let us move on to the second sub question. Find in terms of X. So these are all the angles which we need to find in terms of X. So let us start with the first one that is angle ACD. So this is the angle which we need to find in terms of x that is angle ACD. Now to find this out we are going to make use of another circle theorem which is alternate segment theorem. It states that the angle that lies between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle made by the same chord but in the alternate segment. Now in this diagram you can see that I have drawn a tangent PQ and connected to that is a chord RQ. Now this chord RQ divides the entire circle into two segments. One is this small segment that is the minor segment and another is this large segment called major segment. Now according to the given theorem if the angle made by the tangent and the chord connected to it makes an angle for example X then the same chord makes an angle X but in the alternate segment. As we can see X is an angle made in the minor segment. So RQ makes exactly same angle but in the alternating segment that is the major segment. So angle S becomes X degree as well. So let us see how we can use this alternate segment theorem to solve the example above. Now in this diagram we can see the tangent AT makes an angle X with the chord AD. Let me highlight it. And the same chord makes an angle at the major segment that is at point C which means if we have an angle DAT as x degree then exactly x degree is formed at the angle C. So we have found the angle ACD as x degree using alternate segment theorem. So let us write here. So angle ACD equal to x degree that is by using alternate segment theorem. Now let us look at the next angle which is angle AOD which is this angle over here. So to find this angle AOD we have to make use of a third circle theorem which is angle at the center theorem. It states that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference of the circle. You can see here that I have drawn a circle with center O and there are two points on the circumference of the circle that is point P and point Q. Now using these two points let me make an angle at the center of the circle at point O. And the same two points are going to make an angle at the circumference of the circle. So let us call this point as point R. Now according to the given theorem, the angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference of the circle. So for example, if we have got here at the circumference the angle as 30 degree, then exactly two times that is twice of this angle is going to be at the center. That is going to be 60 degree that is two times 30. Now let us see how we can make use of this theorem to solve the example above. Now here let us consider the points A and D 
which are on the circumference of the circle and these two points make an angle at the center of the circle at point O and the same two points make an angle X at point C on the circumference of the circle. So using the angle at the center theorem, we can now say that if the angle at the circumference is X, then angle at the center is exactly two times the angle at the circumference. So it's going to be 2X degree. So we are going to write here 2x degree that is using angle at the center theorem. Now let us move on to the next angle which is angle AOC which is over here that is angle AOC. We need to find this angle. Now to find out the angle AOC we are going to make use of this straight line COD. Since COD is a straight line as it was mentioned in the question this total angle at the center is going to be 180 degree. So this is going to be 180 and this 180 degree is divided into two angles. One is 2x degree and the other one is angle AOC which means the angle AOC is going to be 180 degree that is the total angle minus the angle AOD which is 2x. So here we are going to write the angle AOC as 180 degree minus 2x degree that is the angle made by the straight line COD. Now let us move on to the next angle that is angle ADO. So this is the angle we need to find that is angle ADO but we can extend it to angle ADC as well because COD is a straight line. Now to find out this angle that is angle ADO let us consider the triangle ACD. And in the first part of this question it was given that angle CAD was 90 degree which means we can find out the angle ADO using the angle sum property of this triangle ACD. So we can write here. So angle ADO is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree plus X. So here expanding the brackets we get 180 minus 90 gives us 90 degree and minus times plus X gives us minus X. So this is the value of angle ADO in terms of X. So let us write here. 90 minus x that is by using angle sum property of triangle ACD. Now the next angle we need to find is angle ABC which is this angle marked over here angle ABC. Now to find this angle we are going to make use of another circle theorem which is cyclic quadrilateral theorem. It states that the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180 degrees. As we can see here that a circle is drawn and a quadrilateral is drawn inside it that is A, B, C and D. Now all the vertices are on the circumference of the circle. Then only we can call it as a cyclic quadrilateral. Now in this quadrilateral the angle opposite to angle A is angle C and the angle opposite to B is angle D. Now if we add angle A with angle C they have to add up to 180 degree and the same holds true to angle D and angle so if you are adding angle B with angle D then it should be equal to 180 degree. Now let us see how we can use this theorem to solve the example above. Now in this figure A, B, C, D forms a cyclic quadrilateral because all the vertices of this quadrilateral are on the circumference of the circle. So let me highlight it. Now after this we can see that angle B is opposite to angle D. Now using cyclic quadrilateral theorem we can write angle B plus angle D equal to 180 degree. Now taking angle D on the other side of the equal to sign we get angle B equal to 180 minus angle D. Now the value of angle D we had found in the previous question as 90 minus X. So substituting the value of angle D as 90 minus X and then expanding the brackets we get 180 minus 90 and minus of minus is plus X. So 180 minus 90 gives us 90 plus X. So the value of angle ABC is going to be 90 plus X. So let us write here 90 plus X that is by using cyclic quadrilateral theorem. Now let us move on to the last sub question. Given that angle DTA is Y degree find Y in terms of X which means we have to write Y as the subject and in terms of X. So we have the angle DTA over here as it is already highlighted. Now to find out the value of y in terms of x let us consider the triangle ADT and the exterior angle to it that is angle ADO. Let me highlight this. 
Now the relationship between the exterior angle and the interior angles of a triangle is the exterior angle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles in a triangle. Now here opposite to angle 90 minus x which is exterior angle are the angles x and y degree. So the exterior angle D is equal to sum of the opposite interior angles of the triangle that is angle A plus angle T. So angle D is 90 minus x equal to angle A is x plus angle T is y. Now taking x on the other side of the equal to sign, we get y is equal to 90 minus x and plus x becomes minus x. So simplifying this, y will be equal to 90 minus 2x. So this is the angle y in terms of angle x. So we can write here, the measure of angle y is equal to 90 minus 2x. I hope you understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of finding these angles, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.